I'm Paul Price. I'm the CEO and founder of ISA. Uh, we are uh, the world's largest association for architects, IT architects, solution architects, software architects, business architects. Um, I developed the association 20 years ago. Uh, to create a profession for architects and to create a learning and career path. So the ISA Solution Architect curriculum is built on top of our core course to provide a large solution expertise, uh, meaning the world's complex solution architecture problem domains include business, information, infrastructure, or cloud, as well as software, uh, problem domains, uh, the solution course will help prepare a student for the over, uh, overall role navigating between um, business stakeholders, IT stakeholders, executive stakeholders, as well as the overall outcomes that you want to achieve in that solution space. You know, architects actually help to develop out the strategy and the execution side of a complex solution. So. Everything from what we think of as systems designs and implementation, all the way up to business objectives and OKRs. The Solution Architecture course gives you the tools, uh, both the human skills, the people skills, as well as the technical and design skills necessary to be able to navigate those complex environments. So, so early in the course, we navigate the, the kind of large scale outcomes that uh, an architect has to deal with. So business executives that want to achieve growth and customer demand, um, operations or IT executives that want to uh, decrease costs or increase uh, performance or in scalability and resilience. As we delve deeper into the course material and in, in today, we're actually matching requirements and design options to those coarse grained business objectives. So we are looking at business cases, their requirements, how those translate to technical options, and then how those technical options turn into decisions and implementation. The Solution Architecture course is targeted at product managers, advanced software architects, advanced cloud architects, information architects, and uh, architects really of all kinds that get involved in large solution spaces. So if you're working on any kind of complex solution, whether uh, as, a, as a design technical expert or business expert, you can take the solution architecture course to help learn to navigate all of the complex areas a solution architect needs to know. The ISA curriculums are all based off of an open source body of knowledge, which is a set of techniques and tools for architects. The, uh, the body of knowledge is called the Bitabok. It is a GitHub hosted body of knowledge, and it provides a suite of tools to understand uh, business domain. So we use things like strategy scorecards, OKRs, business dependency networks, and other kinds of business tools to understand the why of a solution. It will help you uh, with the design techniques and modeling elements you'll need for the technical implementation space. It will help you with the uh, people and stakeholder analysis you'll need to do to understand complex stakeholder ecosystems, things where you have lots of people and large user bases, and you need to be able to understand the relationships between those people and navigate the politics and the human issues to create amazing solutions. So architecture is an ever-changing field. While many of the original techniques that we developed 20 years ago when we founded the association still apply, the modern uh, business environment and IT environment demand significant more maturity in an architect than they ever did before. Uh, in the previous world, you could be a technical architect and in many ways stay in your lane, stay in your design space, stay in your technical depth area. Uh, or you could be a business analyst or a product owner or something to that nature and stay again in your space. 
The world has changed to the degree that architects need to be able to navigate a number of different environments throughout their career. Uh, the, 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 it's becoming more dynamic uh, based on cloud, AI, the ubiquitous mobility, uh, operational technologies, and many other things that are, are coming together uh, to require architects to be, to a certain extent, even better at their jobs than they ever have been before.